What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plane Accident. Last episode we got started with the uh, full early access game of this. And um, we, we kind of relearned, uh, relearned to examine and investigate crashes. And we're going to continue today with our actual first crash. So if you guys are stoked on that, be sure to smash that like button, show it some love and support. And uh, if you guys are new around here, check us out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any videos um, that we are posting. Because uh, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been showing the channel already. It absolutely means so much to me. So thank each and every. I just absolutely thank each and every one of you. It's just been so unreal. So, uh, but without further ado, let's get right into it here. So we're gonna get into time as money, which um, Alfred Bowyer, known as Crazy Fred, was conducting sprays with his well-worn old farming machine. The weather conditions were perfect. It appears a malfunction forced the pilot to make an emergency landing. In a cornfield, head to the scene and determine the cause of the accident. So we're going to hop right into it here uh, with old Fred here. Unfortunately, I don't know if he made it through or not. But uh, we're going to grab our backpack in the back of the truck. Make sure we got all of our stuff here. Um, do we, we... Yeah, we can't grab our drone or anything. Uh, we need to find the wreckage here. So I'm assuming we're going to want to head probably... Can we just hop this? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, here it is right here. We got a fire. We got to deal with. Oh, no. Extinguish these flames. Get these out. Don't want to burn our evidence either. Or Fred if he's still here left. Oh, we didn't put out this one. Thought it did. Okay. There we go. Oh, check the condition of the victim. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't think he... I don't know if he made that. Yeah, he's not looking too good there. Ooh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I don't think old Fred made it there. I think uh, he might be a little bit... Oh, call for medical assistance. Oh, he's alive. Uh, four. Call for help. I didn't think he was going to make it there. I guess he, I mean, he still might not, but hopefully. Fingers crossed for Fred and his family. Bears with him that uh, he makes it through that. Okay, so we got to secure the wreckage. We got to mark the crash site. So let's go ahead and mark these on out. Looks like uh, we got five of these here total. And uh, we're going to get this thing all buttoned up and back to our shop and see what we got going on. So we got to secure the evidence. Uh, let's put, or that's right, I think we leave these out for the evidence. Looks like we got something, but we don't want to get caught on the fence. Yeah, we got that. Uh, let's take a look here and see. I know we got our drone that we can use. That we can use to map out stuff. But we're going to try to find as much of this as we can on our own here. We got something over here. Got another wheel here as well. Got, oh, another one. Okay. What we got, looks like our land, our, I don't even know what that's called exactly. Our front uh, landing gear. On that right there. Uh, we got some... Oh, we do have something right here. I just happened to run into that. So that is good. Let's see here. I would like to try to avoid using our drone if we have to, but we might have to for the uh, last couple here. I'm not, uh, not too sure. I'm not seeing anything else here. We still have two more items out there that are missing. This is... No, that's nothing. That's just a trash can. We got this right here. We got one... Oh. We got a down pole. I don't know if that... Um, okay, that's like the edge of the uh, the world map there. Yeah, that's nothing. Wait. Nope, that's nothing. Okay. Yeah, I think we might have to use our drone here for this last little bit. So yeah, we can't get out that way. And I really don't want to go flying, or not flying, but <laughs> looking everywhere around in the corn. Um, Scan for map. Okay, yeah, we're going to use our drone here. Use the technology that's provided to us rather than struggling to try to find it on our own. May as well. And then we're going to scan for parts. Um, I guess we'll do zone one, see what we come up with. This is kind of going to be all in the cornfield. Uh, we got zone two. I know this thing will pick up, like, normal garbage and everything, too. I don't know if that's an item. I don't think that is. 
At least it doesn't pick up the items that we've already done. Oh, I just saw something there. Which I think that might be the trash can. Okay, we got one more thing. So it's either right behind us. Oops, I keep on doing that too. So it's either right behind us. Wait, didn't we... Or is this it right here? This is it right here. I could have easily gotten that. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. But, um... We're going to do some photographic evidence here. Or documentation. Got to follow the steps. Then we're going to get... I don't know why we're photographing those and we're not photographing the rest. But we're obviously going to get the plane here. I'm really glad the pilot made it out, though. That's, um... I don't want to say it's not a common thing, but... What are we... Oh, okay. Let's call our technicians here to do the uh, transport of everything and see what we got going on. All right. Oh, that's cool. They're coming in here now. I don't know how they're going to pick up a plane and carry it away in their van like that, but <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens with it. Unless are we just conducting it. I don't think we'd be conducting this investigation out here. I'm pretty sure we're going to take it back to our, our warehouse or our shop. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what we got going on. I see our... Um, I guess you guys can't see my mouse, but um, our landing, or not our landing gear, like our crop dusting, like sprayers here are back on the plane now. But, okay, so we got to read our case documents as well. We're going to go over, what is, oh, packing stand. We're going to read all of our documents and everything. So we got our case files here. So we got uh, Cloverdale type of aircraft, air duster, uh, flight recorder, yes, uh, flight route spraying on the field in Cloverdale. Uh, one passenger, no victim. So he's alive, and I don't know if he's doing well. But, um... So we got a uh, description of that. Crazy Fred, a farmer from Cloverdale, took off in his air tractor 502 and was spraying his cornfield suddenly without an apparent reason. The plane started to, to descend. Thanks to the pilot's experience, he was able to make an emergency landing. And obviously save himself. So that's really good. Uh, we're going to check the uh, flight log as well. We've got, I'm still flying over the fields. If all goes well, I'll be spraying the entire cornfield in two weeks. Um, it's time for vegetable spraying with new tanks. Um, it goes even faster. I went to Fairmount Fair. I ate some delicious food. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much, and now I have a stomach ache. <laughs> Why are we reading that? Um, I'm checking if the plane is in good condition. It would be helpful if Stanley could take a look at it. So Stanley is someone of interest. I flew to Fairmount for some bigger shopping. Everything work, Everything is working fine. Okay, so we got Stanley. He's, uh, I guess, a per person of interest, potentially. We've got our technical documentation here, plane maintenance record. There was a problem with the radiator, but I fixed it with gray tape. Well, that's um, great. I attached new spray tanks. None, now one, f now one uh, flight, and everything will be sprayed. I installed the black box. They can, they ask why, and I tell them I that I can. That's is a little shady. Um, engine re regeneration, uh, fluid. Replacement hydraulic system inspection. No other repairs were performed. The owner has informed about the poor technical condition of the aircraft. So yeah, I mean, obviously the thing's older and it's got some problems probably. Inspection and repairs carried out by Stanley Woodson. License number 309512. Um, the engine is running worse and worse. I've looked at it, but I don't know what's wrong. I have to take it to Stanley. Um, I fixed the throttle because it was sticking. Now it sounds great. So obviously he had some issues that he, he was fixing on his own. And um, obviously that we have some issues um, with that. Let's check the uh, photos here. We got uh, doesn't add into the case. Um, doesn't add into the case. Uh, the tank is not an original part of the airplane, so that so he might have had some sort of loss of fuel or something like that. And then doesn't add into the case. Okay, so we need to check testimonies of the uh, witnesses as well. We got Sergeant Kow Kowalski and Saint Mary Hospital. Okay. So obviously that's going to be where he's probably housed. Uh, what a break. I managed to determine that the witness to the accident was neighbor Mike. Perhaps his testimony will be helpful. Um, his, been, his phone number has been added, so that's good. And then we've got uh, Mr. Fred Ballware was admitted to our hospital in critical condition and has not regained consciousness yet. Uh, when his condition improves, I will inform you, inform you by email. Okay, so he's not doing too good, but um, he's not he's not gone. Either so I guess it could be worse for him. So we got uh, mechanic Stanley and neighbor Mike. Uh, this plane was held together with duct tape. Inspections, what inspections? As long as something was working, it was working. <laughs> um, and when it broke down, Fred fixed it himself. I don't know 
why, but Fred insisted on having a black box in the plane, so it so I helped him install it. Maybe there will be some information on it. Okay, so we need to check the recording of the black box. Um, and then we got neighbor Mike here. I was sitting on the porch and watching Crazy Fred fly over the cornfield. At one point, the plane went straight down to the ground. Luckily, Fred is a good pilot and somehow managed to land. Uh, maybe it's because of those huge tanks he attached to the plane himself. I told him, just like a friend, that those big tanks, weren't, he won't go far. Um, check the aircraft lifting capacity. Uh, perform a surface scan. Okay. So we need to place all the clues. So maybe he installed two big a tanks and ended up taking them down. Or they were installed kind of shoddy. And um, unfortunately, maybe took them down that way too. But uh, we're going to grab our drill over here. Grab a new battery. Uh, let's attach our various landing gears. Um, oh, this is actually for the back. This is like your tail... Um, tail out back wheel I thought that that was um, in the front we got a, uh, a sprinkle here as they call it I guess we've got a, uh, a radiator we got oh parts of a propeller so this kind of like disintegrated on itself almost or not disintegrated but fell apart so that's uh, not a good thing they also look a little bit bent but I don't know maybe that maybe they're supposed to be like that we got our uh, wheels on the outsides here. So we're going to get these. Yeah, what am I thinking? These things don't have front wheels on them. They're all in the back. I'm not a not a real experienced pilot. <laughs> I've definitely had some flight time as far as just riding in, <laughs> riding in uh, planes. But uh, never flying myself or anything like that. <laughs> okay, we got a, uh, a tank shield. Which I think I saw in the back corner over here. Yeah, that's definitely uh, interesting with that. So I don't know how much I trust flying this thing, especially after him putting this thing back together like this. Um, okay, so make a scan of the wreckage, we, which we got our drone over here. So let's go ahead and scan the uh, surface, I believe is what we're trying to do. Obviously not scanning for explosives like we did last time. And um, I think that's it right here, just with the surface scan like this. I really, I'm really enjoying this game though. This is definitely a fun game to play. I know we've only done now, this is our only our third episode on this, uh, but there's quite a bit to it. I wouldn't say these videos have been doing amazing on the channel, but they're definitely not doing bad. So thank you guys for that and uh, the, all you guys that have watched them. Um, I definitely enjoy playing it and, and I would like to keep bringing uh, more of this content to you guys um, from this. But because uh, I think there's quite a bit to this game. But let's see here. We got um, scanner tests. So. Aircraft surface scan. The scan showed that the additional crop spray tanks did not affect the aircraft's payload capacity and were not the cause of the accident. Okay. So we can uh, rule that out. Um, so we can go X on that. Inspect the black box, which... I don't know, is it already over here? Or no? Probably not. We probably have to access it. Um, probably from around the side of the plane. Like we did the last time. Uh, can we set this? Yeah, we can. So that's accessing some more, like, fuel tanks or something there. I don't know where the black box is on this. Um, I'm just going to set this, I guess, down over here. Like I said, I'm assuming that the... I would assume that the black box would be somewhere around, kind of like how it was in the last plane that we just... that we just did. But I don't actually know. Oh, we got something in here. So can I set this guy down? Yeah, over here. So that could be a factor too. He's got... He's got something uh, going on with that. Um, I guess we're going to send this off. Let me put the drill down real quick. I think we can just send this off over here. And then send this off with the van here. So that's an interesting one. Why? There we go. Okay. I don't know where the uh, the black box is supposed to be on here. Or is it already out? Uh, we got a fuel tester here, too. That's pretty cool. Okay. The 
Yeah, I don't know where the uh, where the black box is supposed to be. I'm sure it's still in the plane here. What is? Oh, that's just okay. Um. Oh, there we go. Flight recorder. Okay. I was looking right at it. I'm not very smart sometimes, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, anyways. Um, why is it not? Oh, there we go. So we gotta extend this out like this, and then we'll drop the wavelengths down. Okay, there we go. So we gotta go re read the email. And, uh, continue on with things. Okay, so we got, uh, Black Box Decoder. Uh, recording decoder successfully, reading results. During the flight, the engine stopped, mal fun or stopped functioning. The probable cause was fuel depletion. Check the fuel level. Okay. And then we've got, uh, oh, that's our... Okay. So we need to inspect the, um, the fuel level. Oh, we gotta place new clues. Or all the clues. So we got our um, some new evidence there. Spray tank is okay. Yep, we already figured that one out. Out of fuel. Okay, so check the fuel gauge in the cockpit. So maybe the fuel gauge is broken and he didn't realize that um, he was actually running low. Okay, so that powers everything on. Where is our... Ah, so it looks like the fuel indicator shows that the fuel tank is half full. Confirm with the fuel tester. Okay. So we've got um, Pilsen to Vial, Weather, and then Bomb, still question mark. I doubt that's the case. Uh, check the, air, the aircraft blueprint to find the location of the fuel tanks. Which... I don't know where the uh, the blueprint... And we got our fuel tester here. I'm assuming the fuel tanks would be on the wings... Probably not the fuselage, but oh, air. Okay, so yeah, yep, we have fuel tanks here and here. Oh, and one right there. Okay, so check the fuel level with the fuel tester in the tank. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Ah, okay. This is pretty cool. Ah, so it's dry. It looks like I'm assuming I would think that something would be coming out of that. So that's probably the cause of it. He ran out of fuel. Okay. So receive the, the box and, and the email with the examination results. And then call the mechanic as well. So we're going to grab our box over here. And then bring this back over here on the table. This game honestly is really... It honestly excites me playing this. Like This is really interesting and really cool. Um, so we already received the box. Now we got to check the email. So we've got, uh, we have, hello, we have analyzed the substance provided and we can confidently state that it is, it, uh, contains ordinary aspirin. The powders could not have any impact on the pilot's, um, uh, psychomonitor skills. Best regards. Okay. So that had no influence on that, uh, which, so we're good with that. Um, and then we're going to call our, oops. We're going to call our mechanic then, or call the mechanic then. Fuel gauge not working, showing uh, the wrong value. Very likely agriculture machines aren't subject to mandatory inspections. I suspect that half of the systems were faulty and barely holding up. Okay. So we definitely have then no, no fuel in there. So that, excuse me, that is most likely the, co the uh, cause of that. Um, read the email. Good morning, I want to inform you that uh, Fred um, has regained consciousness and his, continues, his condition allows for questioning. So we can actually call him here now. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, can we, yeah, we can X these out. Don't think we really needed to, but just because. It's like glue. Gotta X him out. Yeah, he's not doing too well. <laughs> I feel weak. I don't know what happened. Was there not enough fuel? The gauge hasn't been working for a year, but I always... Refueled with 200 gallons of fuel, and it was enough. Um, this time, my new employee, uh, Pedro, refueled the plane. Ah, so we got um, a new question here. So we got Pedro. 
I speak English a little, si, si senor. I tank, I tank airplane. <laughs> As senior Alfredo said, 200 liters. Ah, so 200 liters instead of gallons, which is only about 50 gallons of fuel. So that is why he... Okay. So he is... Um, yeah, that was a little bit of miscommunication, which I guess sadly makes sense. Obviously, he doesn't speak uh, very well, very good English. Um, but yeah, so we've got... Um, Pedro is going to be the cause of that. So that is that is going to be it for that. So Crazy Fred modified his plane and installed additional spray tanks. However, it had no impact on the crash. It turned out that the cause of the disaster was poor knowledge of the English language by the employee Pedro. Um, he misunderstood Fred's instructions. And instead of pouring 200 gallons into the tank, he filled it with 200 liters. The damaged fuel gauge did not alert the pilot that he was running out of fuel, which led to the plane's descent. So that is going to be the final conclusion and cause of that crash um, on there. So Crazy Fred has it. He wasn't bothered by the accident. He stated that apparently um, it wasn't his time yet. He bought a new plane that he, he still personally pilots. However, this time he takes better care of its technical condition. So that is uh, probably a good thing that, <laughs> that he did that. But um, unfortunately, he kind of paid the price a little bit of that. But at least he's doing okay. He's alive. So that's good. Um, so Pedro... In his anger, Fred fired him from his job and wanted to press charges. However, he quickly remembered that Pedro was employed illegally. <laughs> Ultimately, a week after returning from the hospital, he rehired Pedro. To avoid similar mistakes, he investigate, invested in an English language course for his employee. <laughs> okay, so Fred's Fred's a good guy. He's helping out um, Pedro. You know, he's probably an illegal um, citizen. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, though. Um, but he was hired illegally. And um, so he's helping him out. He's... He's giving him a second look on life as well and helping him learn a new language and um, making things better for his life here in the country. So good on Fred, good on Pedro. So that that's good. Um, but awesome. So due to your, uh, we managed to determine the true case of the disaster. Yep. So we got uh, that. Congratulations. Take on the next case. So we managed to do that in about 15 minutes. So that is awesome. But um, yeah, that's going to be the end of that episode here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys did. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button as, as well so you guys don't miss out on any videos that uh, we are posting here. But thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out.